Hello, welcome to my Get Ready With Me. Um, so for those of you who don't know, a Get Ready With Me is basically someone who's gonna film themselves getting ready in some way. In this case, I'm gonna do my makeup. And typically what the viewers do is they also do the same thing while watching the person in the video doing it. The difference between a Get Ready With Me and makeup tutorials basically is like this, where you just talk to the camera, chat about anything, and you don't really edit as much or you edit when you need to so first I'm gonna prime my face I already have my face moisturized by the way um, and washed I'm gonna prime my face using the NYX I hope this you can see this because I'm filming on my phone so professional NYX photo loving primer favorite primer of all time I swear to god keeps your face really matte not really matte but not as oily as it can be without a primer and it lasts a long time too so you know and using my damp beauty blender just gonna put it on my face And then I'm going to use this foundation, um, 17's On The Spot Foundation in Biscuit, and I put it on my hand. And I like really heavy covers, so it's that much. You don't really need that much, you just, you know, want a basic cover, basic cover. Just, you know, a light to medium cover, you could have a little less than this. On the packet it says like full coverage, but it's not really full coverage, unless you go as thick as I do. <laughs> Cake it on, honey. And yeah, I pick it up from my beauty blender as well and just spread it on my face. If y'all are wondering why I'm filming this, it's because, well, I'm getting ready to go out with my mama. With my mama, with my mom, we're gonna go look for a jacket because holy hell has it been raining a lot in Ireland these past few days. And as someone who wears makeup almost every day, I don't want rain getting on my face, hell no. I put on my neck as well. I was just checking if someone was coming in, sorry. Okay. Next, I'm gonna conceal any blemishes by using NYX's MHD Studio Concealer in CW04. This is such a good concealer, you guys. Like, it's affordable and it gives the right coverage and it's nice and creamy, pretty thick. So yeah, just put it on the places that I need more coverage and any blemishes like on the spot treatment basically. And using my, oh, using my Real Techniques concealer brush. No, it's not a concealer brush, it's a foundation brush, but you're not gonna get, get your foundation on on time with this, now. No. Don't use it as a concealer. Don't use it as a foundation brush. I use it as a concealer brush because that's how I roll. And Real Techniques brushes are so good. Highly recommend them. They're relatively cheap compared to like you know other brushes you can get. Also, my beauty blender is Real Techniques. And then I also put some on my brow bone. Ow. Just poked myself in the eye. Great job there. Now I'm going to contour my face using a cream contour and I'm using Flawless uh, Contour Palette. 
and then usually I go <laughs> guess which color I go for I go for this color for contour and then these two colors to highlight <laughs> This is relatively how I do my makeup every day. Like I don't always use this dark brown color. If I want a lighter contour, which is uh, practically never, I use this one. And I also do powder contour as well, but that's only when I'm really in a huge rush. like using a cream contour because it blends really easily and it tends to be a little more natural than powder does you know that's just my my opinion i know a lot of people prefer powder contour it would be the norm in the beauty community i get it And then on my nose, I contour my nose because this girl has a really cute little and a bit flat nose and I'd like it to be a little taller. But I don't really need nose surgery. I don't really need nose surgery. Yeah, I don't need nose surgery. Like, I do like my nose, but having a tall nose makes you look sharp, you know? And I like looking sharp and fierce to make up for my size. I'm exactly five foot. That's 150 centimeters. I'm gonna add it to my forehead to just warm my face up in this beautiful, beautiful cold weather that we call autumn in Ireland. That I'm gonna highlight now. I use this to highlight my cheekbones and my under eye. Oh, I forgot to say what brushes I was using. That contour brush I was using to apply the contour color. I think it was Clinique. I'm not sure what it was called because it came in a brush set that my mom gave to me. <laughs> yeah. Yep. My mama was just asking me if I was doing my makeup. And this is a number seven concealer brush. And I don't really use it for concealer, I use it to put this on because I do not prefer real techniques. And then I use this color to carve my cheekbones. And also highlight my forehead a bit. Part of my cheekbones and my jawline. And put a little bit in the brow bone just to highlight it a bit. And then using my beauty blender to blend it out. Oh god, what's in my eye? I don't know. Oh, 
Oh, ignore my nails. I'm a college student. I have no time to do my nails just yet, but I have time to do my makeup. I have priorities, okay? You know, I feel like the best get ready with me's are the ones that have Q&A's in them. So if any of you want me to do that, just ask me a question in the comments or anywhere else that you want me to include in another get ready with me where I ask question where I answer questions. Cuz you know, usually get ready with me's are all talkative when I'm just here like It takes me a while to blend this out, but like at the end it's so worth it because like, you know, it looks good. But also I don't have to contour anymore, I just have to highlight in the end. And finally my nose. Yes! <laughs> Or that anything else that might look like a harsh line. <laughs> Okie dokes. And I'm gonna set everything with a NYX HD finishing powder in HDFP. Yeah, oh one, it's translucent. It comes on a little really white, but it does fade a bit as you let it oxidize. But you know, what you want. I don't want to look like a ghost. <laughs> Which I know my skin ain't that pale, but if it was to stay this white, then what the heck? Am I dead? Well, I am on the inside, but... I'm gonna put a little extra underneath the eyes, because that's where I put a lot of cream contour, cream highlight. And a little, also a little extra on the nose because it gets really oily there. And jawline as well because I put some contour around here and around here. Next, I'm gonna do my brows and to comb them out, I'm going to use this brow brush that's my beauty spot. It's, n I don't know where to find these actually. I know uh, my mom's friend gave it to me and ah really useful you know obviously they're not expensive but they do the job and then I'm going to use uh, Nyx's Tame and Frame pomade and to be honest I don't really like this pomade it's a bit dry it's not creamy enough so it leaves patches in my eyebrows so it takes me a while to do my eyebrows but you know what can you do I'm just trying to finish it and I'm using Real Techniques brow brush an angled brush. I prefer a really really skinny um, brush because this kind of spreads out. Usually what I do is I load up the pomade on the brush and then I kind of do this. I kind of squeeze them. I squeeze the brush flat with a tissue basically. Also getting rid of any excess. If my brows are doing really, really badly, then I use a black eyeshadow just to fill them in a little bit more. So yeah, it's not my favorite brow product. I prefer their pencils. Um, NYX's like pencil, not really pencils, but they're kind of other brow products, you know, the ones that you twist. 
I'm such a good, I'm such a good, I'm such a good beauty blogger. I'm not even a beauty blogger. I don't even know what I'm doing with my life. I just like makeup, guys. Please spare mercy on me. Spare mercy on me. Have mercy on me. I hope no one asks me to do a brow tutorial because I'm s I am actually don't like doing my brows at all. Like I like having nice brows but I wouldn't be able to give you a tutorial. I'm not really good at explaining it and I feel like other people are better at doing that. But I'm gonna blend it out a bit so it doesn't look like I just stamp things on my eyebrows. Oh, also, oh my god, I didn't even save the color I was using. Obviously, it's black, but yeah, it's T. It's 05. Now I'm gonna prime my lids with this thing again. I really like this palette. It's so versatile. I'm gonna use this color. It's kind of skin color. A little darker, but you know. It helps. It helps a lot. <laughs> And then I'm going to set it with a Sleek's Au Naturel Saison 1 palette using Cappuccino. I lost the names, but for some reason I can always remember the name of this one. Anything else, I don't know the names. <laughs> and I'm using Real Techniques' Deluxe Crease Brush. This is a really nice blending brush, but also I, I also use it for setting my lids. I'm gonna do a little plumish kind of look. Not too obviously plum, but you know. And I'm gonna use this little brush that I got from this brow set. Don't have any more, but you know. And using 17's Easy on the Eye palette, I'm gonna go for the color Onyx Black. It's not really black, it's just deep, deep purple. And I'm going to do a little V-shape on the outer corner of my eye. Just up to the crease. Which, you know, isn't a long way to go because I have not so much lid space. Sigh, sigh, sigh. bring anything left over on my brush too, just throughout the crease to define it a bit. Oh, that looks weird. <laughs> and then using my Real Techniques 
Face Shadow Brush. I'm gonna use this matte gray color called Slate Gray and kind of just more like just blend out the uh, eyeshadow. And if you want a tutorial on this, it's not, I kind of learned it from Michelle Fawn's, well not Michelle Fawn, but um, the old M channel. It's still there if you look for it. I was like, uh, I'll put the link in the description because I forgot what it's called, but I'll find it. And just to brighten the lid a little bit, I'm going to use this color and it is called Warm Ivory. If you can hear any voice in the background, my parents are talking. Okay, and I'm gonna curl my lashes. I usually curl my lashes after eyeshadow. And then I'm going to tight line, not really tight line, but line my uh, top water line with um, Natural Collections eyeliner. It says eye lines, <laughs> don't know why. And obviously it's black. And if you want a really detailed, well, as, as much as I could detail it, if you want a detailed tutorial with how I do my eyeliner, I have done it. Now to do the eyeliner, and I'm gonna use um, Miss Sporty's Fabulous Gel Eyeliner and Highlighter using New Real Techniques's Fine Liner Brush. And to be honest, this is the one Real Techniques brush I really don't like because you, I use it to do my eyeliner, but but the fibers of the brush itself they. They tend to separate and I just, oh, it's frustrating. But you know, what can you do? I'm almost finished the gel liner anyway and I'm gonna move on to, I'm almost finished the gel anyway and I'm gonna move on to uh, using liquid liner or felt tip, preferably Kat Von D's tattoo liner. It is such a nice eyeliner. I know it's expensive, but like, for me at least, it's worth it. Don't do this to me. Oh. No one mentioned that they're not equal, please, I swear to god. I don't even want to check properly to see if they're unequal. I used to have a better brush than this. It came with this. Like, its brush was so good, but then it broke because I used it so much. Now I'm gonna take Urban Decay's uh, double liner. There used to be a black here, but now it's just a champagne color and it's called Venus. You can tell I use it a lot. Urban Decay, in my opinion, has the best eye products. But I know they're expensive, so not everyone can afford it. I don't even have the Naked palette and I want the Naked palette. Which Naked palette? All of them. I'm just lightening my bottom, my, my bottom, <laughs> I'm just lighting my bottom waterline with Venus to make my eyes look bigger and brighter. 
And going back to this brush where I put that um, onyx black, any excess, I'm gonna put it along my bottom lash line all the way. A little heavier, heavier on this side and a, li a little lighter on this side. Come on, baby, you better make a star. You better make a song before you break my heart. Oh, I, I wanna be with you everywhere. Crap, I might get copyright for that. No, I'm gonna stop singing. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna use my 17 dolled up mascara. And you know the drill. That face I made in my eyeliner tutorial, I actually don't do it. <laughs> I don't go... <laughs> that looks funny. I'd make myself laugh if I did that. Like, I can actually keep my mouth closed if I do my mascara. And um, I hope you're not gonna expect false lashes for this look because I am so bad at putting on false lashes, so... If I try to do it, I... It would take me two hours to do my makeup, basically. I don't know, I just haven't mastered false lashes just yet. There, simple. Now I'm gonna prime my lips with the NYX Lip Primer. Lip primers are so good. The first lip primer I've used was MAC's lip primer. And it's expensive, so you know I can't get that all the time. That's why I switched to this for now. Being a college student, no. <laughs> but lip primers are so nice. They're like... They kind of... I'm not sure if they moisturize your lips, but they kind of make it waterproof. And it helps with just applying lipstick. It goes on smoother and, and the pigment comes up better and it doesn't leave patches like you do when you have dry lips. So like if you have dry lips and you want to put on lipstick, this is a good base to start with so your dry lips won't show, you get me? And then I'm going to put on some blush. For blush, I either use a an actual blush and the one I use is from Body Shop and it's I think it's called Nutmeg. But for today, I'm gonna go for this color. It I know it doesn't look like a blush, but I'm gonna swatch it for you. If you put it on, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like some deep pink and purple on it. I'm just gonna blend it out. I hope you can see some of that. It's kind of pinky purple and it just, it's such a cool color. It's not even a blush, it's, a, it's, it's an eyeshadow from Clinique. And it's called Frosted Blossom. Like it looks white, but there's multiple colors in it, which is so cool. I'm just gonna pat it on with this brandless blush brush can you see that Just put it on my forehead a bit of my nose and my chin as well and I'm gonna use even more highlight. And I'm using this PS Pennies or Primark Smoky Eye look. It used to come with like um, <laughs> false lashes, eyeliner, applicator, and eyelash glue. But um, false lashes didn't work. I looked absolutely ridiculous with them on. I don't use this one on my eyelids themselves because for some reason my eyelids swell afterwards. <laughs> Meaning I'm probably allergic to it. But all the other colors are fine on my eyelids. I just use this for an extra bit of highlight. Because I like looking bright. And these brushes I'm using, the one I just, the small one I just used with this kind of handle, they're also brandless, but they're so good.
Sometimes I use the this one as a blush as well. And like it's not that pigmented so it doesn't come out boom, purple. And then for the glow, I'm going to go back to Clinique's eye palette and I'm going to go in with this color, Cherry Blossom. Oh no, <laughs> I got it wrong. I'm, I'm reading it again and apparently, no, this is Cherry Blossom and this is Frosted Blossom and it's called Frosted for a reason. See that frost? Or well, maybe not because... It's only an iPhone camera, and it's not going to pick up too much. You'll see it when I put on my cheek because, damn, do I make myself look like a glazed donut with this highlight. I'm telling you, man. I am telling you. It's a really nice, cute, like, pink-toned highlighter. It's meant to be an eyeshadow, but I use it as a highlighter because when I, when I put it on my cheeks, you know, just playing with makeup, I was like, holy crap, I'm going to use this. And as you can see, I hit pan, so that's exactly how much I love it. <laughs> oh, my forehead, chin. And here comes my favorite part. I'm going to use Wet n Wild's lipstick in Dark Wine, and I'm going to line my lips with um, Sleek's liner. Uh, in lingerie 294. You remember I put on lip primer way before like before I did any extra face stuff because if you put on lip primer and then go in with your lips up right away it kind of it's you need to let it dry a bit first you know or else it will go patchy Ask me what my favorite facial feature is it's my lips which is why I always go in so carefully with it just to enhance it so I overline just a little but that's because my lips aren't an even shape This is actually the first time I tried this lipstick, so I hope it ends up well. Oh, oh my god. Wow. Very fall, that's so cute. That's such a cute color, oh my god. And I'm gonna blot it a bit, because if I don't blot it, then it's gonna feather out. I know Wet n Wild is a cheap um, brand. I didn't get it. Um, my dad's friend from America, um, his wife knew that I love makeup, so she bought me a bunch of makeup, which is so sweet of her. I hope she watches this, because I wanna say thank you, Tita. And there you have it, I am ready. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to ask me questions, go ahead, because this is a very quiet get ready with me, and a lot of get ready with get and a lot of get ready with me as I've watched were really talkative ones, but I had nothing to talk about. So yeah, thanks so much again for watching, and I'll see you soon, whenever that might be. Bye.